Good morning, YouTube. How y'all doing? Well, look at here. Trusted YouTubers are flaggers that make money to take your free speech. Mm -hmm. If they don't like you, that's just straight up to police videos. Now, I want to explain this to you. I can understand porn and I can understand um, extreme violent videos where they're cutting someone's head off. Now, I see that porn get take, the porn gets taken down. But I see some of those guys that get multi-million views using a naked woman's butt for a screenshot. Those videos don't have no naked women in them. They're just funny videos, but they're still up. The screenshot is false advertisement, but they're making big videos, big dollars on them videos. But yet they get away with it. Wonder why that is. Don't know. I do know that if they don't like you, I'm going to show you a picture here. If they don't like you, this video is this video on one channel. This is my big channel, and this is uh, Tattoo Tat's Two Minute News channel. Okay, I took this video and uploaded it over there last night. Now this was this morning, just a little while ago, because I took a screenshot. Now it's been up probably seven, eight hours. Okay. Now it's got twenty thumbs down. But only one view. Uh, to get a thumbs down, you gotta have a thumbs. Up, you gotta have views. You can't thumb it down unless you get a view. Okay. Now, how is it that they can give you twenty thumbs down with only one view? That's called super powers. In other words, those particular people have access in and out of YouTube okay and I don't care they're saying UK and this come from the Wall Street Journal they say this is superpower youtubers or trusted people trusted really uh, how many people have you ever known that's had a friend that worked for somebody that I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. You ever been in that kind of situation? Sure you have. And sure you've used that policy more than once. Now, you're going to give this and you're going to give those people certain powers. Now, I've been telling y'all that this has been going on for two and a half years. I also know that there was a YouTuber at one time that had a big channel, not a big channel, he had a small channel. But he had access in to YouTube. Yeah. He could read your email. He could actually delete your video. Yeah, he could. And I mean delete it without your knowledge. Now, I'm not saying that who the person is, but I know that he could read your email, and I know that he could delete your video. How he done it, I don't know. I didn't really know the guy. Knew of him, knew about him, I knew what he could do. But now, if they gave them superpowers and the same type of people like that, and they don't like you what do you think they will really do to your channel let's see um, my contact list and my email on YouTube it sends me says I have 5,000 contacts but you know how when you go to your contacts you got you can only see 25 at a time because that's all you can email out at a time 
Well, it shows me 3,000 on one page. On three channels, it does that. I can't contact any of those people because it immediately locks the page up because it's too many contacts. The page, the page actually, the Flash Player, the browser locks up and gives you a crash. You'll crash. So what I'm trying to say, and I've made a video on that, y'all seen it. You know I'm telling you the truth because I'm not lying about this. But you see all about this. You see what I'm showing you here. A hundred thumbs down. Now this had 66 thumbs up with almost none at first and then it went to 66. And I made a couple of stupid comments about the fact is that the best you can do and they made it more. Now, how many people do you know that are grown folks? Okay. There's a YouTuber to start with that's going to sit there on one person's channel and monitor everything he does just to give him thumbs down. Especially that many. How many? Have you thought about it already? Do you know the answer? There ain't very many. It's going to sit there every day and do the same thing. At one time, I used to think that, you know, I had one or two people that was doing that. And there still may be. I'm not saying there's not. But when I seen this this morning, where I had 20 thumbs down and only one view, uh, and it had been up for several hours, uh, yeah, I'm convinced now that it's coming from inside YouTube or Google, whoever you want to say. You know that I'm telling you the truth. Now, in this video that I'm making, I am going to have a robot ready, y'all. You can see that this is Wall Street Journal here. It'll take you to the page. Okay. And this is also the article on the web on that on that page as well but I gave you the links to all of it so you can see it for yourself and this says for the UK super flaggers there you go all right now whether this is true or not I can only go by what the Wall Street Journal told me I did look to see if Google said anything about it although Google didn't advertise it like the Wall Street Journal. So I'm assuming, and I'm just assuming, that this is a legit story. But I'm pretty convinced with the way this is working right here. I think y'all might be too. And all the other things that I've showed y'all off over the last two and a half years. But it's just my opinion, folks. And it's only my opinion. Your free speech for all of you, all of you, the people that like me, the people that dislike me, the people that hate me, the people that love me, your free speech is gone. It's gone. And it's getting worse every day. So remember, I've been trying to tell y'all about the Act 1871, and I talk about it a lot in this video. I do. And it only got 925 views. They shut it down at 925 with 71 thumbs down and 53 up. It's a good video. We talk about money and situations about what we could do to take back our rights. They don't want you to know that. But for you to get in there and tell them a ball face tell a ball face lie that you know Obama was having an affair with uh, uh, Rocky or Sylvester Stallone or something, oh that's gonna get a million views. Sure is. Sure it's a lie. 
Anything that's got a line is going to go long ways, but the truth don't. They don't want the truth out. So they give you a, a, a story telling you that they give them superpowers to stop the porn and you know propaganda from other countries. Really? Is it really propaganda from other countries? Or the truth that comes from the people that want their freedoms back. So you think about it, y'all listen to the last half, or don't. It's entirely up to you. I know y'all don't like the robot. Well, you, all you gotta do is come over here and read it. You gotta come to my webpage and read the page. If you don't, you won't understand the whole scenario. And go to the links. That's what you have to do. It's either that. I'm not going to read to you. Y'all all grown. I'm going to have the robot read it for the people that can't see. Oh, and remember, from my cold, dead hands. Much love. Have a great day. With 100 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every minute, it's impossible for the site's employees to keep tabs on the massive content continuously pouring in. While most of it is innocuous enough, some prohibited material slips through the net, including pornography, gratuitous violence, and abuse of various forms. In a bid to catch such material more quickly, Google-owned YouTube has hired around 200 individuals and organizations to flag any material they deem to be in contravention of the video-sharing site's guidelines, the Wall Street Journal reported on Monday. A person with knowledge of the matter told the journal, that most of those in the flagger program are individuals, though some are said to be government agencies or non-governmental organizations, such as anti-hate and child safety groups. While the site already allows users to report videos containing possibly suspect content, it's likely the material highlighted by those in the flagger program is fast-tracked to the YouTube team for evaluation. In addition, the web giant has reportedly set up the system so that the flaggers can highlight content at scale, instead of selecting one video at a time. UK government flaggers the journal's report comes a few days after the Financial Times said Google had already given a number of UK security officials super flagger powers in an effort to contain the proliferation of jihadist material prompted by the war in Syria, but are likely to stir concern among civil liberties campaigners. Google confirmed with the FT that a UK government agency is indeed working to search for particular types of material, with a government spokesperson adding that it was looking for content that might have violated the country's Terrorism Act. Commenting on the system, a spokesperson for YouTube said the site has a zero-tolerance policy towards content that incites violence, adding, our community guidelines prohibit such content and our review teams respond to flag videos around the clock routinely removing videos that contain hate speech or incitement to commit violent acts. Google was keen to point out that the final decision about whether a video is removed is theirs and theirs alone. Any suggestion that a government or any other group can use these flagging tools to remove YouTube content themselves is wrong, a spokesperson for the Mountain View company told the journal. Google gives UK super flagger status to raise YouTube concerns.